doing today. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, uh, you know, today is a beautiful day, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's one that the Lord has made, you know what I'm saying? And plus, he woke us up this morning. You know, the day of starting is on our way. And we know for a fact that happened, but guess what? There ain't no hurt, harm, or danger came to it. You know what I'm saying? See, God gonna mess around shield and protect you. It's just when you're in positions or in places that you ain't got no business being is when the devil can come and interfere. You see what I'm saying? He ain't gonna come in him. He ain't gonna come in the Lord's house. I want to thank the Lord for that. He ain't coming in the right. He ain't gonna come up in him. He know for a fact got too many fighters up in him. Lord, God. God. See, he got numbered up in him. Amen. You know what I'm saying? We say the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, you know what I'm saying? Cloud of witness. You know, we got a full house in there. That's what the pastor just said. You know what I'm saying? The pastor said we got a full house. Or the good Jesus, the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? What? You see them talking about where two or three or more gathered down also in the midst. So, we you know, seeing that when we say that, what we know is word don't come back more. We want to thank the Lord. Today going to be my 35th week bringing the word of God. You understand what I'm saying? But I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Yes, I thank the Lord. Let me get this together here. Um, yeah, okay. <coughs> thank you, Lord. Get out of there, name of Jesus. Oh, Pastor, we ain't got to worry about that. It, it, I'm doing just fine now. Well, praise the Lord. I prayed on it, too. But anyway, we want to thank you because today is Friday. Today is Jesus Christ. Once again, this is Jesus Christ's buffet. Amen. If you're hungry, <coughs> I want to let you know we're going to talk about that today in God's Word. That God said if you're hungry, He going to give you a bread the way you're never hungry. You know what I'm saying? That's what's so cool. We talk about, we talk about God's Word. But see, remember I told you last week, we talked about the disciples. You know, the ones that are uh, Cut tail and run. That was the reason. That was one of the reasons why they cut tail and run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Study the word of God. Come to find out. They say, oh, man, what do you mean? Uh, we going to eat his body and drink his blood. You know what I'm saying, Pastor? They bad. You know, just because they didn't understand. Yes, sir. They didn't have the knowledge or the wisdom to rightfully divide the word. They you see what I'm saying? They didn't want to divide the word. They said it was too often. Really, if they would have just started and tried to divide the word of God, they would have realized that it wasn't hard at all. All you had to do was believe. Them. That's all. You see what I'm saying? God will open up doors when you when you close them yourself. God will open them back up. It's just up to you to step back through them. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what was wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I go over there and don't be wide open. I turn around and go another direction. You know what I'm saying? But we want to thank the Lord for that. You know, we want to thank the Lord for allowing us to be here one more time in the house of the Lord. Amen. And we can fellowship once again. I want to thank the Lord for uh, uh, my pastor and his wife. We want to pray for uh, Pastor, pastor Barlow, Mike Barlow, yes, sir. Charles Barlow. We want to pray for uh, Brother John Berry, that he that worked that no hurt harm day to come over that God. Keep him sheltered, you understand? We thank the Lord that he opened up doors for him. You understand what I'm saying? If you really and truly want to see what God is doing, come on down here to Victory and Jesus, Holy Father. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. they got testimonies. I say you hear by yourself. They got testimonies. Now, we ain't got people knocking down the door, but the people that are here, we can actually see what God is doing. Maybe that's why it's good to have a close-knit family. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. God say come from amongst them. Yes, I mean? So we can actually see what God is doing right, in our members' lives. You see what I'm saying? Amen. There ain't no if and buts about it, man. I mean, I can't, hey man, I can't, I, I can't say nothing bad about now. And guess what? They all preach the word of God. My God. All of them. My God. See, we don't have stuff here. You can't come here. Uh, uh, you can put the wig on and, and put the makeup on your face, but we can see you. Yes, sir. We see you when you walk through the door, devil. Amen. You understand? We don't see you. And one thing about it, it ain't going to be nothing that we do. It's going to be the word of God that's going to convict you. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because really and truly, we don't want to mess around and be around people that will 
dirty up, you know, or cloud up what we trying to do, you know, or for people to say, oh, man, he go to that church, he, oh, yeah, man, you better watch me, he over there, they over there, see what I'm trying to tell you? You got to watch the people that are around you. Amen. You understand? You can, God said you can let a wolf into the, the sheep, you know, into the, the sheep fold. You can, hey, look at that. You can see, see what I'm saying, Pastor, look here. Some of them angels got to get up. Well, as you can see, I mean, we got the rest of to get at least about six, seven more seats, right? Uh, we thank y'all for coming, angels. Amen. But we'll see y'all next week because we're going to have to give up some of them seats. Because, you know, just like I say, God talks to say, we ain't got to worry about it. Amen. How y'all doing today? Oh, man, look, y'all got two, three extra ones. I, I told them angels, they were, oh. I told the angels, I said, look, I said, angels, you're going to have to go on get up because they're going to have to have some extra seats today. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Hey, man, we want to praise the Lord. How you doing today? What's up there, Jonah? Hey, man, you know for a fact, it just, that dude there don't never stop smiling. You see what I'm trying to tell you? That's what I'm, trying, that's what I'm trying to tell you about the members at Victory and Jesus Holy Bible Studies. You can see the blessings on these people, man. Right. You can see it, man. Ain't none of them all. You they don't come and do all the stuff that you know people do normally. You don't hear that, man. I want to. I come and I talk about. Hey, you know what the Lord done for me yesterday? Huh? He messed around to fix my truck in my backyard. The dude that told me, he told me that it, the motor was gone, so I didn't want to get rid of him. Cause that was the first call me and my wife had. Don't you know one of my friends went back there today? Five minutes later, he come back, he said, me. I said, yo, what's up? He said, man, your truck's fixed. I said, it's fixed. I said, what you did to it? He said, man, the AC compressor froze up. That's why it wouldn't move. Amen. That's why it wouldn't turn on. That's he went out there and cut the bell off of it, stuck the key in it, cranked it up, and been sitting in my yard. I brought it from Port Arthur to Beaumont for two, three years. I've been having that car waiting to put a motor in it. Because, yeah, we finished selling it. You know what I'm saying? In the end, he cut the bell off, cranked it up. I said, I, I told my wife, I said, you heard the truck running? She said, yeah. It was running in the backyard. They had to do nothing. Bought a ten dollar car. You know what I'm saying? And I was going to sell it, man. I'm telling you, and God is good, man. We want to pray for, for uh, Sister uh, Kimberly Well, you know, and her family. How you doing today, sister? Yeah, you know, we want to pray. Amen. Yeah, then my mom we, we got blessed. Kevin yeah. gave us the title to it. You know, somebody came and gave us the title to a call. They said, here goes something for y'all. Gave us an uh, envelope for our birthday. And my wife opened it up and took that. She's trying, she trying to figure out what it was. You know, she was looking at it like, hey, what is this? She said, this looks like a title to a call. He said, happy birthday. And gave her the key. Amen. Hey, hey, man. That's God, man. And I'm trying to tell you, I remember we want to. Hey, yeah, then she in school. Yeah, she started oh, back. She back in school. She in college now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, told me today. Told me today that she, she. I called in. I called in the room and she said, "Hey, now look here, I'm online. I got to stay in class now. I can't be coming in here talking to you." I said, "Oh, okay. I see how we go to high camp now. You can't keep coming back and forth in here." Hey, well, I see what you're doing. But we want to say that what I'm trying to tell you. That's God, man. Then my son is doing a whole lot better in school. I want to do. I want to thank the Lord for allowing him to get his to put his head on right. You know what I'm So now in the morning before he go to school, we pray. You know, and I'm telling you, it worked. You understand? Yes, he woke up this morning and said, "Come on, Dad, I'm in a rush, man. We got to say, hold on, brother. We got to pray, right? Amen, brother. You understand? Know so we pray. He's doing a whole lot better. Amen, brother. He's doing a whole lot better in school, you know. So you just got to go and say a family that prays together stays. Say, 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 family that prays together stays together. Remember that. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lord. We want to mess around and pray for all the members. Anyone, any, any other the members that you can think of? I want to pass to God and uh, miss sister, God. Uh, sister God. Willie Pearl. Willie Pearl, yeah. And our uh, pastor's brother, you know, he's doing a whole lot better, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you doing, sister? What's your name? Yeah. Who? Jamaria. See, that sounds like you got joy in that. Jamaria. You know what I'm saying? The Jamaria you want to be at. You know what I'm saying? So God is good, man. I mean, hey, thank you. We're glad to see you. We at Jesus Christ's buffet today. You feel you get your plate, and we fit to feed you the word of God. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we gonna do. That's what we do right here. We fit to feed you the word of God. You understand? And guess what? You ain't gonna get fat. You can eat all you want. You ain't going to get fat. 
but you're going to get very knowledgeable, you know what I'm saying? We want to thank you, Lord. We want to pray right now, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, we want to pray. We want to thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing for us, Lord, God. We thank you for, you know, we ask you right now, Lord, what can we do for you today, Lord, God? You know, the president said, don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. So I'm saying, don't don't ask God what he can do for you. You ask God what I can do for you, God. What I can do for you today, Lord. You understand what I'm saying? I want to step up, Lord. I want the world to know that you are the king. You are the great I am, Lord God. And Jesus Christ is your son, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name, Lord God. We thank you for allowing him to come down and dwell in the flesh, Lord God. We thank you today. We're going to talk about your word again, Lord God, that there's power in the word. If you want to change your life, you just must learn to grab a hold to the word of God. When you get in the word of God, God will reveal what you need to do, Lord God. We thank you. We marvel and we glorify you, Lord God. We ask you to look down upon the members of victory in Jesus, Holy Bible Study Center, Lord God. And keep us on that straight and narrow, narrow Lord. Let us know that if we feel of one one jot, Lord God, that yes. you're not going to tolerate that, Lord. And we know this, and that's why I say I'm so glad that the family that I have here, yes. that they are God-fearing people. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. They are messing around to keep you straight, Lord God, because guess what? We all preach the word of God. You understand yes. that? We all know what we have to do. So all we do is get in what we fit in. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So I ask you right now, I don't want to give you an invitation that if you right now Feel as if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You come on down. Get in where you fit in, man. And you can mess around and grab your plate and feed off some of this, this buffet that we have. And it's free, too. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you, Lord. We give you the highest praise, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Lord. We ask you to look down upon the, uh, uh, Israel, Lord, because you said for those that pray for Israel, yeah. if we bless Israel, you will bless us, Lord, God. Yeah. So, I mean, we don't have to mess around and say that we're doing it for the blessing because you already said you're going to bless us. Yeah. So, that, you know, don't, don't, feel, don't feel a certain way like you're only doing it for the blessing because it's what God want to do for you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, ask God what you can do for him. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, we thank you, Lord. We magnify you. We glorify you. We ask you to look upon the sick and the shedding, Lord God. We ask you to go and look upon Brother Charles Barlow, Lord. Heal his body, Lord. Yeah. Give him strength, Lord God. Let him know that faith without works is dead, Lord God. There's something that he has to do, Lord God, to get up out of that situation that he's in, Lord God, and come back into the fold, Lord God, yeah. and bring that mighty word, God, that you have in stored inside of him, Lord God. Yeah. We wait for him, Lord God. We ask you to send Mike Barlow down and thank you, Lord God, thank for you. him, Lord God, for he's a mighty man of God. We thank you because we know that the people in the neighborhood, they see him now. You understand for what he is. You understand not for what he was. So we thank the Lord and we yeah. marvel and we glorify. We ask you to bless Sister Gaza, Brother God. We ask you yeah. to bless uh, right Sister now, Kim. Thank you, Jesus, and for those that the people that are here right now in victory in Jesus, Holy Father, Son, and Lord. We ask you to just touch them, Lord God. Yeah. Keep them strong. Hide them in your tabernacle. Keep them in your provision, Lord God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for your soul, so worthy, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, we mom, and we glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver from evil. For though down is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of heaven. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. And we want to tell you, you know, I mean, some people want to say, oh, you. You know, uh, I love the Lord's prayer. Amen. You understand? Because that's what he says. So if, if there's anything that I forgot or anything I didn't mention or somebody that might feel like they was left out, see, that right there covers, that's the blood. See, that, if they get to them and crack and crevice, the devil can't even hide from the word, from, from the Lord's prayer. You see what I'm saying? Amen. That covers everything. See, God say, he said, after this man of prayer. So he Amen. taught us that. And that's the only reason I do it. But we want to get off into the Word today because I did tell you last week we was going to talk about, uh, you know, those disciples that were with Jesus. Yes, but they decided to leave because Jesus said, I picked me a 12, but then uh, nobody really mentioned about those that burned off. Mm -hmm. Wonder why they left. 
But you know why they left? Because Jesus told them that you were going to drink my blood and eat my flesh. And they thought he was mean and literally. They said, oh, that's too hard for me. I'm gone. You understand what I mean? That's, 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 that was, see, even people back then was trying to have an excuse why they didn't want to worship God, why they didn't want to listen to the word of God. You got the word right there with you. You sit. Let me get off into it because, see, I want to let you know. I'm going to let you know, sir. See, I want to tell you, talk to you about it, something else. I want to, you know, see, because let me show you something. Another day I opened up my Bible, and guess what it ended up at? In the beginning. Genesis. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. First chapter of Genesis. Let's go to page one. We don't go to the beginning. I'm going to tell you something that I've done that was, that really and truly took with me, though. It took them. Because it wasn't hard. All I had to do was just keep reading. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes we get caught up on certain scriptures and instead of us just trying to figure out what it is or what time to say, what to say, what we got to do, Pastor? Let's see what the Bible says. Amen. See, but now I wanted to call Pastor and I wanted to know right then and there. So let me show you. Let me show you what I did. I'm going to show you what I did. You understand? Because I'm trying to tell you, I talk about me. See, I'm a young Christian, but I want people to know that you can start off, man. Man, you can start. Amen. Do what I did, man. Start, man. Start. And look, I even went back to page one. You understand what I mean? And look here, when I got to page one, let me show you something that captured that me and Pastor Lad. Because you know why? It wasn't even hard. I said, but what was those disciples thinking? It wasn't hard. All they had to do was keep reading. I'm Pastor. Amen. Thank you. To it, all they had to do. I'm going to show you how funny this was. Look here. I'm going to show you this here. Okay. Don't get offended now. Okay, this is what it says. Thank you, Lord, for your word. It said, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Now, you understood that? Yes, sir. He said, in the beginning, he created heaven and earth. That's singular, right? So I called Pastor. Pastor, what do you mean by that? I thought they had more than one heaven. I say right at the top, that was something I was fitting to start and start reading. I said, I want to go back to the beginning of the Bible, and I wanted to start reading. So when I got to the beginning, the, the, right there, the first sinners, it slapped me in the face because I was like, hold on. You know, uh, I mean, uh, somebody don't know what's going on here. Because it say in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Yes, sir. That means he created one heaven and one earth. Pastor say, hold on, boy. Now look here. Let me tell you something. Now he said, look here. Now I want you to understand, sir. That you know, God said that they got three heavens. Now I said, well, I know that, but right here it didn't say that He created three. It said He created one heaven. So what is this? What is what, what's happening? Is this a misprint? Because I mean, Pastor, I mean, you know me. I'm the kind of person I really just got. So I'm gonna use my vows and my nouns. I'm using these. And I said, well, on this singular, to, to say three, that's what? More than one, right? That's that. So, hold on, something ain't right. But I said, hold on, let's go see what the Bible says. Then. <laughs> well, he said, go to chapter two. This is my opening scripture. So, he went to chapter two. And you see, that's what it is. That's why I say young Christians, they don't understand. They want to challenge. You know what I'm saying? I want to challenge. I said, come on, God. You know, when I'm reading, I want you to show me what you're talking about. But see, right there, it did let me know that God created one heaven. But then, you know, we got to remember that God, Pastor say you have to remember now, God worked for, for six days. He rests on what days? I say the seventh. He said, well, let's see what he said right here. <laughs> Go to chapter two, Mom. So I went over there and uh, chapter two said, thus the heavens. And hold on, man. They got S on that. You say, Bob, and he worked for six days. Yeah. Do you understand that? You know, God said, if I was to put everything I said in a book. Yeah. But let's see. Let's go a little bit further, though, Mama. He said, in the heavens and the earth. So that means he still got just one earth. Right. But now he said he got both in one heaven, right? Yeah. Oh, God. I said, all right, thank you, Lord. That, that didn't even work. That wasn't even hard. Huh? That wasn't even hard. I said, thank you, Lord. He said, he said, and the earth was finished. You understand what I'm saying? Now the earth was finished. See what I'm saying? 
He said, and all the host of them. Amen. You understand? And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Yes, sir. See what I'm saying? So somewhere in those seven days, God had already took care of all of that, what I was saying. You know what I mean? All that just said, what I want to try to tell you, God's word is what? God's word is power. Yes, sir. So all you got to do, all you got to do is just, whenever something comes up to you, you understand? Just keep reading. Amen. That's all you got to do. Don't even worry about that. Put it on your head. Just put that right there somewhere, you know. Just call time out and put that over there in time out. And sooner or later, if you keep on reading, you're going to run across and get the answer what you're looking for. Amen. You see what I'm saying? But this is what I want. And when that right there, I just want to let y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? That all you young Christians like me, I already want you to know I ain't never going nowhere. I'm not going well. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on now. It's right there in the beginning. I mean, come on, man. I mean, it was right there to say in the beginning. Now, we know that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and there was nothing made without the Word. You understand what I'm saying? That was made. You see what I'm saying? But that's in the book of John. You see what I'm saying? That's in the book of John. That's when Jesus came. The word came and let them know about that. Amen. That I was there when the world was formed. Oh my God. You see what I'm saying? Because yes, he used the word to do it. Amen. That's why a lot of people don't understand what God is trying to tell you. You understand? Jesus Christ is the word of God. Oh, no, 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 go too far because God, just like I say, when I went to study about the word is powerful, I said, well, Lord, I want to go through and I was reading through but then all the while I was studying, guess what? I kept finding powerful things. You know what I mean? So I wanted to write that down, and I saw another powerful thing. And I wanted to write that down, and I saw another powerful thing. I said, hold on, brother. You're going to run out of time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, if you were to do that, you'd probably be in there at least till about 8.30 if you go on there. Them people now, you people got somewhere to go, mom. So look, here, you're going to have to wait till next week, so I want you all ready to know that the word is powerful. The word is powerful. Amen. There's power in the word of God. Yes, sir. So I want you to know, if the Lord, if the Lord say the same, by 36 weeks, I'm going to be on part six. Good then. Because I, I, I already got it, I already saw it. So guess what? When I go back and finish, and then when I start studying this weekend, we're going to happen. And see, it's going to happen again because the word, Pastor say, I probably never get through with that if that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I'm going to have part 99 and, and then some, you know, and see, because don't, don't, don't go in the book of Revelation because we already know that what's happening in the future. It's already the started, man. You understand what I'm saying? God don't play, man. God don't play. But we want to go to, uh, man, look at here. We want to go to, uh, let's go to page 1264. You understand what I'm saying? We will go to John, the sixth chapter. Now we're going to start at uh, 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 verse 35. All right? You said John? John, yeah. The book of John. Matthew 1, the gospel. You know, God said, go ye and teach the gospel. So I always got to put the gospel in. You know what I'm saying? I, one thing about it, I might talk about the Old Testament, but man, it don't make no difference. I got to put the gospel in. Yes, sir. I got to put the gospel in. See, the gospel, that's what Jesus is. Jesus is in the gospel. Amen. So then I realized that. Oh, okay. Don't you know that those red, that those those those, those red letters where Jesus speak, you only find them in the gospel. You see what I'm saying? Ain't that something? He made sure you knew he was there. Ain't that something? That was something else I found out. I blessed myself. Right, See, ain't nobody had to bless me with that. It would make God reveal that Amen. to me. I said, okay. So I was looking through it. I said, well, okay, I'm going to go to Romans or something. You can't find them red letters in, in those other books. You understand know I me? Mean? But you can find it in the gospel. Guess why? Because that's what Jesus was. Jesus was in the gospel. So we thank the Lord for the gospel of Jesus Christ. The word of God. Chapter 6, starting at verse 35. All right. Now I'm going to bring you up to speed. This is what Jesus fed the multitude. Yes, sir. You understand? We won't mess around and get there. But I mean, it was so much that I kept saying, okay, I started off with read uh, uh, verse 60, 64, 65. 
But then every time I went up and went up and went up, I ended up on 35. But I just settled that way because I knew for a fact I probably would run out of time. You know what I mean? So I just settled on that because I wanted you to understand this is what I want you to hear. I want you to hear about the disciple. Yes, sir. You know, that we said we were going to talk about it. But see, you're a disciple now. If you if you understanding and preaching the word and teaching the word and, and, and searching in the word of God, then God said that you are his people, right? Yes, sir. So then therefore you can be a disciple of Jesus Christ if you're doing the right thing. So that's what I'm saying, but when you become a disciple, you can't go out there and mess around and have mud on your feet and walk across a white carpet, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that because there's people that's going to be obvious, you know what I'm saying? You can't go out there and drink and party and be in the club and all of that and then you work some Because people know that's what I'm trying to give you the illustration. Like you walking on a white carpet with no, muddy feet, you understand what I'm saying? They don't see you coming. You can't, God says you can't talk about God and, 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 and live for the devil or preach God. And, 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 and yeah, you can't do that. See, that's why I had to realize it. Me, I'm talking about me. I'm talking about Marvin Douglas, you understand? That dude that they call uh, Meatball, you know what I'm saying? He was very uh, un un uh, uh, not understanding. He didn't even understand himself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You ever stole from yourself? Uh, and then you realize, damn, what I do? Oh, can I spot that on this? You see what I'm saying? You just stole from yourself. I used to do that. That's great. So I want you to look at that sometime when you realize you're supposed to do something and you run and you start to ask yourself, what I did with that? Then you realize, oh yeah, I spun it somewhere else. You knew you weren't supposed to do that. Amen. But people are used to steal from them. Though God say, will a man rob God? Or if you'll steal from yourself, you'll try to steal. But God knows what you're doing. Amen. You know what I'm saying? That's why your blessings don't come. That's why your blessings, you gotta be blessed. You gotta be blessed, man. Amen. You understand? God just wanted to put my car in the service because I lived in Port Arthur. So I used to drive it to about my six or seven times doing mischief. So he said the motor was blown out. Ain't that something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. We're going to read page 30. We're going to start at verse 35. This is what Jesus, uh, he walked on water. Jesus walked on water. You said 36, right? 30, 35. Okay. Verse 35. Okay. Jesus, um, Jesus walked on water, and, and, and he and he felt the mul the multitude, and, uh, and then those people they started complaining. You understand? So we're gonna start at verse thirty-five. This is to show you what those to let you know that Jesus had more disciples than uh, twelve. So, but those twelve he picked them out. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so you got to say, if, do you want to be a disciple for Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. But then we want to figure out a detail. Let me show you something. Then we're going to read that verse 35. <clears throat> it said, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. You understand what I'm trying to yes, say? That's why I call this buffet. Because God say, If you come to him, this written in red, this Jesus talking right here. Amen. And Jesus say, If you come unto him, you would never hold it. You understand what I mean? If you do what Jesus wants you to do, start living the way he wants you to live and, and, and being according. Yes, sir. You know, and living according to the law. You he understand? Of the world. He gonna take care of you. That's why I was trying to tell him about the people here in Victory and Jesus and Holy Bible Study Center. Is that you can see God blessing them. That's the good thing about being in a small church. You can see where God you know if they're doing the right thing, but they don't, they don't, if they come with their head down, we're going to better well go to praying when they get the door. Yes, we're praying in church. We believe in prayer. Amen. Prayer changed things. Yes, sir. Yes. It changed me. But Jesus said that. He said, he said, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Uh, he that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah, ain't that something? Boy, that's a powerful word right there. I believe it. I believe it. My water's still on. I ain't got no pig in the back yard where I'm going to have a good fat pig you while I can kill him. Yeah, true that. True. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got married and the woman that I bought my sister from gave her three pigs, pal. Full grown pigs. Hey, 
she blessed her. She blessed her. She said, y'all have that for, for your wedding. Yeah, she said she, said she had one, but she said she had three. You had to take them all. Yeah, if I wanted one, if she gave me, she asked myself, <laughs> we I don't She said, but if I want one, she said, if, I can, if, if, she, if she give me one, I'm going to have to take all of them. Ain't that something? That's true. And then we ended up getting married. We cooked all our own food. We catered our own way. Yes, we did. We I did all the meat and she did all the stuff. And this one little girl came up to my wife and said, boy, these plates is legit. <laughs> you understand whatever that means. But anyway, God said, you want hunger. You understand? And that was when I got married. God had blessed us then. God blessed marriage. Yes, sir. He do. Boy, I see that run time. Yeah, you your blood yeah, I know, but that's what they were already going to get what they... They, we ended up not even eating down one of them. We gave them all away. Well, yeah, we gave them all away. We didn't we would go when we couldn't get them. We would go kill them and slaughter them and butcher them up. I would. Yeah. We gave them away. We didn't even sell them. We gave them away. And then I went to the store and bought me some brisket. You understand? Pork chop, whatever it was. We served on there somewhere. Yeah, but it was good. But we didn't cook them. But we thanked them for them. I went and got them because I didn't want them to feel like we weren't done. I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me read a little bit more. <clears throat> Verse 36 says, But I say unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. You see what I mean? So who is he talking to? He talking to those people that's around him. You know what I mean? See, he talking to those, he talking to the people that's around him. He say, man, you see me, and you still don't even believe me. You see what I'm saying? That's just like it was when I uh, when I joined the game. God said, how can you hate your brother who you see every day and love me who you have, who you have not seen? You see what I'm saying? But Jesus was telling them, I'm right here standing in front of you. Yes, sir. And you don't even believe what's going on. You know, they saw the miracles. They saw the blessings that Jesus was doing. Jesus fed 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. You see what I'm saying? This is what was going on. You know, he told them, you know, he told the disciples, go and get all the rest. See, that what was so cold about it. Jesus told his, his disciples to go get up all the remnants from what was left over. He didn't, he didn't waste food. Jesus didn't waste it. He went and got it because you know why? He knew that he was going to do something else, my right? You see what I'm saying? He would take anything. So he took crumbs and fed the other 10,000. You see what I'm saying? Ain't that something? Let me show you something that God revealed to me. All right, we're going we're gonna to do the math. We're going to do a little math right quick. Let's say, say there were 5,000 men, right? Let's say half those men have wives. So now we're talking about 7,500, right? Yeah. Let's say all of them had at least one or two children. Yeah. Now, I can't know well, that's too much for me. You see what I'm saying? That, that's a little bit too much for me. You see what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. This thing. See what I'm trying to tell you? So Jesus did more than what the people, what the, what the word is trying to tell you here. He looked at the men because back then, that's what they did. The man was considered the head. So he must run and go out there and say, I'm going to count you and your wife. And, see, because when Joseph came out of uh, uh, out of Egypt, out of uh, uh, Bethlehem, and was going home, you understand? They didn't count Mary. They counted him. You see what I mean? They counted the man. They didn't count his wife. You see what I mean? That's what they did. So they counted the men in, in, in the nation. And that was just something that men thought they were superior. I don't know. But that's how it was, you know. Because today, you know, my wife can get me to go cut the yard in the rain. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't go over there and think you can mess around and run something. Some. See, sometimes God mess around you give you some. Give you a steering wheel, something that'll guide you in the right direction. You know, sometimes my wife do that. She becomes my 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 what they call the, the rudder. You know what I'm saying? She still she can steer me, and I'm two times the size of her. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You know why? Because I love her. You know what I'm saying? See, God told me, He showed me a long time ago that love is not something you say. And then I read the word and come to find out it's in the word. You understand? Love ain't something that you say. Love is something that you show. Love is a verb. You understand? Look now, you know me. I love nouns and verbs. You know Don't you not realize love was a verb? But love, love is the action word. You got to show somebody yes, that you love. Yes, you can't lay down all the time and wow, I love you. Yeah. 
What you gonna do then? You only got to know you don't want Sooner or later, that's going to get old. Amen. But if you're doing things to show her that you love her, that you appreciate her, she's doing the same thing, then God is blessing that. You, you understand Amen. what I'm saying? When those bad times do come about, Amen. that love going to show like a light. Amen. 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 Ain't that something? Say, here I am. Uh-oh. Amen. What time is it? Did you hear that? Be careful. Be careful. See, because I asked for a wife. I said, Lord, you know me, Lord. I need a wife. Yeah. And then four hours later, I met her. Ain't that something? I don't know. We're going to have to talk about it, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I say, man. God is good, man. Amen. Uh, let's go to 37. 37 say, uh, well, 36, God say, I'm right here in front of you and you believe it. Ain't that something? I'll check this out. 37 say, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast you out. See what I'm trying to say? Jesus Christ accepts those that don't have. He accepts the lame, the weak, the 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 the, 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 man, the poor, yeah. He the rich. He accepts it, but you have to come to him. Yes, sir. You can't mess around and be out there in that world and expecting Jesus to come to you because it's not like that now. You understand? Jesus went from town to town back then. Some of them mess around and just waited just to look at him and see him. One woman just wanted to touch him. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Bartimaeus wanted to see him so bad, he ran in front of him and clammed up in a tree. Oh, Jesus right. looked at him and wanted to say, you won't have to come down from there. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Right. Right. Jesus, yeah, that's what he's saying. I'm coming to your house and yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. You got to stop and think about that man was a shit. He was a short statue. So what he did was ran in front of the crowd and climbed up in a tree. Right. So when Jesus got there, he looked up because he probably was wondering what that man doing in that tree. So when he got he over there, he sure, said, he sure. that's right. He wanted it. So Jesus said, you have to come down because, uh, you know, I'm going to eat at your house. <laughs> and he was welcome. He was so sure happy that he had chosen to do Because he spilled, he told him everything that he wanted God to do. Look, he said, for I come down from heaven not to do my, my own will, but the will of him that sent me. You see that? See, Jesus Christ told you that right there. Jesus Christ telling you that. He didn't come to, he didn't come down here on that right. He down I'm down here because somebody sent me down here. Now you listen and see, you're seeing all these wonderful things Jesus is telling them, right? And he talking to his disciples right there. He talking to all of them. I'm not talking about the 12, I'm talking to all of them, all the whole crowd. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? talking to all of them. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that all that of all which he hath given me, I shall lose none. Do you understand that? Exactly. God said he ain't going to lose none of them. But see, you can go on your own. Huh? Yes, sir. You want to be a God, ain't no God ain't going to lose you. Yes, sir. But if you if you get all puffed up, oh, man, they won't let me, and you want to do your thing, and then you leave. You're doing that on your own. God, God gave you that free will. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean? But, sh but, but, but should rise it up again. Oh, raise, raise it up again at the last day. You know what I mean? Give Marie 39. Marie 39. And this is the Father, which uh, will, which had sent me. That of all which he had given me, I should lose none, but should rise up it up, raise it up again at the last days. You know? So don't worry about it. If you die in Christ, you shall be risen up again on the last day. And this is the will of Him that sent me. See, Jesus telling them exactly what what His Father gonna do for him. Jesus say He sent me. He say, Jesus sent me. Yes, sir. You understand? Jesus sent me. But I want you to understand one thing. He said, I mean, the Father sent Jesus. But Jesus was letting you know what the Father going to do for you. You understand what I'm saying? See, he, he, this, this is, he, his daddy sent him down there with a plan. And all he did was just came and told you exactly what his daddy wanted to do. He said he wasn't doing it with him. And Father, and Father said, and this is the will of him that sent me. See, all I had to do was keep reading. 
And this is the will of him who that sent me, that everyone would see it, the Son, and believe. See, that's what it is. That's all you got to do. Yes, sir. All you got to do is believe. See, just read the word of God. Now, this is Jesus talking to you. Put yourself in this position. When you read the word of God and those letters are read, put yourself in that position yes, like yes, Jesus is talking to you. You understand that? Because that's what he's doing. He's really, truly talking to the person that's reading the word. He's talking to you, not way back there. Uh, you got to understand that A.D. means we in A.D. We, in, we just happen to be 2,024 years away from when Jesus walked this earth. That was the day that they killed him was the first day. That that morning when, when, they, when they woke up back there that first day, you understand? Like I say, time didn't stop. It just changed. You see what I mean? It went from B.C. to A.C. To A.D. So right now, we're living in A.D., so we're living in 2024, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. So Jesus was talking to him back then on the first day, so he's talking to you right now. Put yourself in that position and allow God to talk to you, you understand? Because the word is powerful. You understand? Let's read this here. We're going to get there sooner or later. And it says, uh, and this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone would see the Son and believe on him, may have eternal life, everlasting life. Yes, and I will raise him, and I will raise him up at the last day. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you're going to have everlasting life. You see what I'm saying? Yes, you ain't going to bring on the way. You're going to do God say you're going to But look here, this is what it is. Okay? The Jews did murmur at him because he said, I am the bread which comes down from him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm talking about, Pastor? They sitting there saying, you what? You the bread that came from heaven. Yeah, they didn't believe. yeah he said, man, he was just trying to tell me. Like, he wasn't a man. He wasn't. He come down here to give you the word. He's the bread. You know what I'm saying? You can eat this and you are never hungry. Oh, what you trying God. to tell me? If you Lord. live according to this word, yes, sir. you'll never have to worry oh, about Jesus. it. That's what he's talking about. Man, look here. Rightfully divide the word. Don't take it and try to make this like me what I did with uh. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven. And you got to keep on reading. Amen, brother. Man, Jesus ain't telling you to uh, cut him up and put you in his mouth. It got to be something he's trying to tell you. That's so right. keep on going, keep on reading. Because, man, guess what? I really truly don't believe that's what he was talking about. Right. I know for a fact it was. Amen. Let's see what he was talking about. It said the Jews did murmur at him because he said, I am the bread which coming down from heaven. And they said, it is this. It is It is it's not, not this. Jesus. It, yeah. And they said, it is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. <laughs> How is it then that he said, I am come down I from heaven? I come down from heaven? Yeah. Jesus yeah. therefore, <laughs> look, but Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not amongst yourselves. Because see, that's what was happening. See what he did? He went over there and told him and said, Murmur not against yourself. So they were just a crowd. They were just soaking in. You see what I mean? Don't do that amongst yourself. Don't ask me. I'll tell you, I'll give you the truth. Y'all sitting over there stirring in that stuff right there, man. What God talking about? What you doing over there? What are you saying, hey, man? Don't do that amongst yourselves. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what they'll do. You know, they want to come and they want to start their oh, man, yeah, man, she did me this, man, and then her brother did this, and they turned around and they took it. See, man, look here, man, don't, don't sit there and stir, man. Amen. Forgive them and move on. Yes, sir. God going to take care of that. Amen. I believe this now. Amen. I have saw it with my own eyes. Yes, sir. Man, things happen and you want to, man, <laughs> it ain't nobody but God did Amen. that. Amen. Yes, they wasn't hurt, but he straightened out the situation. Right. You understand? I'm not going to talk more in the details because people are saying, man, that dude, they're crazy. You see what I mean? That's what they thought was wrong with Jesus. Amen. Talking about he was the bread that come down on him. <laughs> yeah. And they were going to 42. 43. No, 43. 44. Oh, God. 44. I get to read too fast sometimes. No man can come to me. <coughs> Lord Jesus. 
and dust of my earth. You can the name of Jesus, devil. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. My you see that? He look what he look what he giving all the credit at. Yes, sir. Look, wait, why? Who trying to tell you like he trying to take a hard day? Look what he giving all the credit to. Amen. Giving all the credit to his father. Yes, sir. He said, "I can't do nothing." Yeah, I do. <laughs> see, see. Oh, That's what I what I say. We need to say that sometimes. I can't do nothing without you, Lord. Amen. Lord, I know I can't not now. I couldn't I couldn't stop using drugs without God. I couldn't stop drinking without God. Amen. You understand? I couldn't stop uh, doing the things I was doing, deviant to make money underhanded without God. I shut all that down. And guess what? You turn around and bless me so much I think to myself. Man, look how much money I saved when I stopped drinking and doing drugs. Thank you, Lord. That's what the problem is. See, you don't even realize you already, you know how you will, you can already, you can become a thousand now tomorrow if you stop buying dope and drinking alcohol. You understand? <laughs> we quit smoking cigarettes. Good Lord, boy, guess what? You can have whatever you want in life. You see what I'm saying? It's not hard. Change your lifestyle. Yes, sir. Stop hanging around those that want to help be there. You know, like I told you, man, look up. When I was a kid, I used to have older friends. They had jobs and I didn't have one. Remember, I told you I was 13. I didn't have no job. So I used to wait for them to get off to go and buy the alcohol and bring the drugs. You see what I'm saying? Ain't that something? I wasn't doing nothing but just waiting on them. I'd do whatever I wanted to sleep all day. Man, don't you know what they gave them got me? Nothing. See what I'm saying? That's all it did. Man, don't you know I was 13 years old and the only thing I wanted to do was go to prison so I could get my street cred. But you know what? I was too young. Ain't that something? I was too young to go to jail. So I'm trying to tell these people. So guess what? That's what I'm saying. So I just was being bad. You see what I'm saying? Because they couldn't do nothing to me. That's confusing, man. Yes, it is. Talk to them. See, man, what I'm trying to tell you, I want to tell the young man that, man. You 12, you 13. They don't have nowhere to send you. You don't want to go with them. Man, you don't want that stop. That gun that you have, man, that's an extension of your hand. Whatever that gun does, you have, you are held accountable for it. You understand what I'm saying? So why should you even hold it in your hand? Because you won't feel like you got power. And the only power you need is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You understand? God said that Jesus told him, man, that all you had to do was just come. My father will draw you to me. Amen. And you'll still, you get around people that's reading the word of God and you hearing the word of God and people are preaching and praying. You see what I'm saying? This is what, what, what Jesus is talking about. That when you hear the word of God, then that God is, that word is going to draw you. You see them there, Jennifer. Yes, and he's saying, then once that happens, I'm going to give you eternal life. Amen. You understand what you want? What you want? I think I want eternal life. So I'm going to leave you. So I gave up on the next hand. I didn't want that. You know, I became a thousand now overnight when I stopped doing drugs. You understand what I'm saying? Man, look here, man. A habit is a hard thing to break. But now that's what it is the habit I got now. Is that I just want to praise God. I want to make it. I want to make it. But look here, boy, the habit that. Man, look here, I'm an addict for Jesus. You understand? Know I want to wake up. I wake up and want to do it. You understand? Know but I still want to get to this. Let me read this because I want to show you what Jesus did. You understand? Know he said he started murmuring and complaining. No, and look, it said on 44, it said, No man can come to me except the Father which had sent me draw him, and I will raise him up. At the last day. It is written in the prophets. And they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that had that, that heard and had learned of the Father cometh unto me. So this is Jesus now. Jesus telling you to come unto him. This is all written in red. It say not that any man had seen the Father. Uh, save he which is of God. You understand? And he had seen the Father. 
Is that because you were looking at Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. That's what he was trying to tell you. If you're looking at him, then you see the Father. Yeah, yeah, Because he's just a spin image of him. He just the way he just put the word. His word, if you're looking at him, the words that come, you tell me the words that coming out of his mouth belong to his father. Amen. That was just a flesh and body. That turned back to the grave. Because he God took it. Jesus took the whole thing up there with him. They saw his whole body just in the heavens. You know? So I don't know nothing about that. But like I said, I'm going to read about it. Not something about it. One. You know what I'm, I'm going to read about it. Amen. Listen, 46 say, not that any man had seen the Father, save he which is of God. He had seen the Father. Very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your Father did eat manna in the wilderness and and are dead. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It said, it say, look here, it said, this is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. That's this word of God. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Come on, baby. You can eat this word right here. I am I am the living bread yes, which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that, that I will give is my flesh. You heard that? Amen. See what I'm saying? Which I will give for the life of the world. You understand? Know now that's Jesus Christ. That's how much he loved us. Yes, sir. He said, I'm going to give you my body. That's what he's talking about. I'm going to give you the whole body. You know what I'm mean? saying? He and people see right now, and I come to find out that reading, yeah. True enough, I do know one thing. You understand? Know that Jesus Christ was talking about his flesh and his blood. Because this is what we do now. In tradition to remember him. You yes, see what I mean? This is what he's talking It's called the Lord's Supper. This is, but see, I'm not eating pieces of Jesus. That's right. But if they was thinking that back then, that was just an excuse. Yeah. So stop seeing even back then, they were using excuses. Not to listen. Because see right here, let me tell you something. We're going to read a little bit more because, like I told you, I want to I wanna get this in. It says, uh, 52 say, the Jews therefore stole among themselves, uh, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Yeah, he sure couldn't give it to us in 2024, huh? And he was still talking about his flesh with the bread. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. So stop trying to live with that like me when I was trying to make one heaven. He said, look, keep reading, it's going to tell you. This word is powerful. Yes, sir. He said, this Jesus, okay, here you go. Then Jesus said unto them, Very, very, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. You understand? Yes, if you don't remember him, you see what I'm saying? If you can't remember Jesus, this is what he said. If you don't do this, you don't you ain't gonna remember me. You understand? He said, uh, uh who who uh it says, Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had everlasting life. Yes, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. You say, he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. As I live as as the living father has sent me and I live by the father. So he that eateth me even he shall live by me. You see what I mean? Because Jesus was trying to tell us, I live by the Father. I live by what he tell me. Amen. See what I mean? That's what he means. That's what he trying to tell us. Hey, man, look here. I'm not going to follow no man. I live by what he tell me to do. He took me down here. He sent me down here to guide you. So what you need to do, if God sent Jesus down here to do this certain thing, what Jesus trying to say is, come on, man, do what I do, man. Amen. Don't mess with and say, what would Jesus do? Let's talk about what Jesus did. You see what I'm saying? What he did was he came down here in the flesh. He spoke the word of that's God. Right. He don't. taught me that's he right. And he gave his life upon the cross. He said, I want you to have my blood. I want you to have my flesh. Because I want you to remember me. It's written in the book of Corinthians. It says, you know, in, in this manner, you understand? He said, this is the blood, you know what I mean? This is the bread, you see what I'm talking about? Do this as often, you understand, to remember me, you see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. But Jesus said, I do, I'm going to do what my father told me to do. Amen. And I'm asking you to 
Jesus do what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't do what would Jesus do. It's what Jesus did. That's right. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm trying to tell you? Because once he did it back then, that was just an example for us right now today. That's what he's saying. Right. So yeah. stop acting like you don't know what that is. Keep reading. God, he's going to show you because I'm telling you, I took it all. I ate it all up like, like, you know, like it was a hamburger. I love hamburgers. It say, this is that bread which coming down from heaven, not as your father did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Now, there was Jesus in the synagogue teaching, so guess what? It wasn't like he was outside. He was inside the synagogue, which was the Amen. church, teaching this message. Yes, sir. You understand? Man, let's go, let's go, because I tell you, we almost there. Many, therefore, of his disciples, okay, here we go. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is an hard saying. Who can hear it? Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in, in himself that his disciples murmured at, at, at it, he said unto them, do it this off offend you? And he said, oh, go Jesus. He said, what and he say, what and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? You see them there? He said, man, I should have went over here. What you was gonna happen if I go on up there and, and, and just get on go back where I was? What's gonna happen? See, I'm glad Jesus messed around and left the Holy Spirit down. Amen. See, so the Holy Spirit been here for 2,024 years. Now. So he ain't going to win. I thank the Lord that he did thank that. You, it ain't like he Amen. said that, Amen. isn't it? But that's just something I want to give to you because I was blessed by that. You yes. know, I realized that Jesus, when he left, that he left the Holy Spirit. Amen. But he was telling them back then, what if I leave and go back where I come from? Then where you think you'll be? You know, still living in the Stone Age. You know, they want to throw rocks at people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it is the spirit that quickens the flesh, profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they they are spirit, and they are life. You see what I'm saying? That was saying. So this is the word. The word is the spirit. And come on, God put it in flesh. They say, but there are some of you. That believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they who they were. That's that right. believe not, and who shall betray him? You see what I mean? Ain't that something? He knew it. That's God right. had already told him from angels. Now, but this is what I'm going to get to you. I want to show you about these disciples because this is what I want to talk about. See, this is what happened back what uh, two thousand years ago. Yes, it happened back then. I want to tell you right now. I'm gonna be Jesus' disciple too, and I'm and I show, and I'm not, and, and I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna do this. You know? It said, I'm not gonna do this because see, I looked at this, and when I read, you know what it came to me that this was just an excuse. You know, so many people in this world right now make excuses, and it's easy for me to say that because guess what, I was one of them. Me too. People made excuses out there, and you know, I would party so hard on Friday and Saturday, I was too. I know to go to church on Sunday. You see what I'm saying? Or I didn't want the people to see me because I'd been up all day, you see what I'm saying, and all night, you know. I might have took a bath, cleaned up, cut my hair and everything else, but then I still felt like everybody in the church was looking at me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just knew they was looking at me. They know which one of them saw me last night. Who know I was in that house? What's going on? Oh, Lord, look, he come, he come, he come, he come, oh, he passed me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is how we are, man. Yeah. Why would you want to live like that, man? Stop, man. Don't do that, that man. Jesus yeah, Christ yeah. saved my, my, yo, my burden in life, man. That's right. Come on, man. You can mess around and do what the Father told me to do. And it's going to be all right. Let me get to the, to the meat of this thing right here. We can go on get up out of here. And he said, that was said, okay? And he said, we talking about the word of God. Yes, sir. Therefore, say I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my father. Amen. You see what I mean? And I told my wife that. I say, man, look here. I asked God, what can I do for him? 
and I felt the old women bit of ways a minister to my people. So God sent me to Jesus. You feel me? But I did like Jonah. I went to Nineveh. You feel me? And I left Joplin, Missouri, and I came back to Beaumont. I didn't want the people in Beaumont there. I had no problem up there. Because when God told me that, it took me 22 hours to get to Joplin, but it took me 10 days to get back to Beaumont. You see what I'm saying? Because I was preaching God's word out there. You see what I'm saying? I was ministering the word of God. But God had drawn, God had drawn me to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't come. What did he say? He said, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Now he said what he said. He said, from that time, now look at that other word that say after they come after time. Many. I thought Jesus only had 12 disciples. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, you know, until I got into the Word of God, my whole belief, all the things I heard, because I wasn't reading the Word of God, I wasn't studying. That's all I knew that they had 12. They showed at the Lord's Supper. They showed the one that, that betrayed him. He was up there, too. You can count them. That 12 disciples on there. You understand? But right here, I start reading the Word of God, and it revealed to me. Yeah, it revealed to me. It revealed to me from that time. Many of his disciples. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? I said, oh, Lord. So God, that's wrong. Let me know. He revealed that to me. He said that many of the disciples went back and walked no more. What is a disciple? A, a disciple is, is one that accepts Christ. You say, a one that believes. Yeah, a follower. Of Christ. That's that believes that, 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 believe that he does. That and so it was following Jesus. Right, but that's what he say. He say they walk with him no more. They were walking more. They wasn't walking with him. They, they said he no, no, they said this, they didn't this understand is. It. Yeah, but he said that this is the reason why they said it. He said from that time many of his disciples went back no, and walked no more with him. They and, and then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Uh, thou has the words, he said, Thou has the words of yes, eternal life. You know God, and and we on. believe and are sure that thou art the Christ. That, he said, Art that Christ, the Son of the living God. He wasn't just any Christ. Yes, he said, You that Christ. He, yes, wanted to be, yes, he made for sure that you understood that, hold on, we ain't just saying that yeah, you, ain't saying, yeah, you ain't just any Christ. That Christ. You know what I mean? See, reading the word of God, man, the word of God is powerful. Amen. So you got to get in there and read the word of God. And that's what I started doing. And then God started revealing his power to me. You see what I'm saying? Amen. And this is why right now I'm on uh, 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 part five because I'm still finding the power of God's word. Yes, sir. Because it's still revealing itself to me. It just keep on revealing. Week in and week out every time I get in the word. You understand? So I don't know where we're going, but I know we're going to have a part six, so I'll see you next week again when I ran across something in First John that just blows me away. Amen. I was like, wow. Now, how could it be that all of them, see, if you really look at First John, it really, it really like, uh, uh, unless you know what really truly happened, you understand, in, in, in when Jesus walked with them. You see what I mean? I said, what? Because you don't see the letters that read, you hear John telling you the story. Yes, sir. Yes, he sir. was there. He was a witness. A Let's close this here out. Let's see what we can do. It said, okay. Okay, 60. 60, no 69. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. See, and that's why when you read, you got to make sure that you understand. Amen. It said, Jesus answered them, have not I chosen you twelve. You see, Jesus the one that's chosen them, and one of you is the devil. You understand what I'm saying? And that's so Jesus knew this. He knew this. Amen. He knew that one of them was the devil. That's you know what I'm saying? Ain't that something? So this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you have the same power that Jesus has, you can recognize when somebody comes to you and the devil is on. You see what I'm saying? So don't feed into that, man. They say, oh, man, come on, let's go over there. Give me a ride over there. Man, I'm not going to bring you over there. I'm going to go back to you. 
ain't no good thing coming out of it. Or if I bring her, I know if I bring you somewhere and you get out and I know what's going on, you walk it home. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know what might come out of that house. You understand? They got some strange things going on, man. So just like I told you, man, and that's what I had to close with. Amen. I was going to close with John, page uh, uh, 5. It was on page uh, 454. But then when I read it, then I got down, I kept reading, then I got down to, I mean, it was 1454. And then I kept reading, and I got over here to 1457. And I kept reading a little bit more, and I said, oh, Lord, we're just going to have to start it right there. Baby. So I don't want to read the first part. Because the first part is what follow all in it. That's how powerful that word was. In that word. it was around the same wall. When I started reading, looking for something to close with, I found my next month, the whole thing. You know what I'm so, so next week, you know, we want to thank the Lord for his word. Because his word is powerful. So we give God all other praise. We thank you for the day. We thank you for your son. Because we are believers in him, Lord. We believe that Jesus Christ is yes, manifested in front that he is the Son of God. Amen. We believe that he went on the cross, died, yes, buried, and yes, resurrected, Lord. and rose on the third day for our sin. We believe that, Lord. Yes, you understand? Yes. And I know that he will come back if I do not see him in my lifetime. And when I do sleep, when he wakes me up, you understand? I know for a fact he's going to say, oh, boy, you did all right in those last years, son. I tell you, you know why? Because I am not going to turn around. No, I'll reach no, back there and grab you and pull you up here where I'm at. But I'm not going to turn around and come yeah, over there and meet you where you at. You know what I mean? That's, That's Jesus. Right. I can't do Jesus' job. Because mm -hmm. the word says right here that God is going to draw you to him. Amen. You know what I mean? So we thank you. We marvel and we glorify you. In Jesus' name. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So we're going to make some money close. We're going to go to prayer. And we thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you, I ask you that if anything was said that was not of you, Lord God, I ask you to strike it down, Lord God. I thank you for allowing me to decrease while you increase in me, Jesus. You understand? Because the word of God is power. I thank you, I marvel and I glorify you. And as we leave out of here, Lord God, we want you to know that you will always be in our presence. We're taking you with us, but we know that the Holy Spirit is here with us. Yes, so we thank you. We marvel and glorify you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen.